I think that preachers that are preaching in this time need to cultivate the ability to see and to seize the time, to know what time it is, essentially to be sort of spirit-filled almanacs of a sort, <laughs> to know the time. I say that because even though, you know, I do a lot of work in sermon preparation, there are times when I simply wait, and the way I wait before God doesn't mean I'm just sitting in a spot in a chair. I'm uh, moving along doing the things that are my tasks, but my ears and my, uh, my eyes and my heart are open for a word. I often call it a hook. I, I wanna hear from the Spirit, what is the need right now? What, what are you saying? He or she that hath an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. What are you saying? And I listen for the hook, and the hook comes in the most interesting ways. Sometimes the hook comes in the voice of a child, conversation with a kid. Sometimes the hook comes on a billboard in a secular song. But when I hear it, I know I've heard it. And I write it down, strange places, like on the back of my hand, you know, on a piece of paper from a coat hanger, you know. Just whatever I can find, I write it down. And then I know, and I'm excited, because I've heard a hook, you know, and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna work on it and I'm gonna build a sermon around it. And the sermon writing, the sermon preparation comes after the hook. It's the hook that excites me. I know where it's gonna end up. I know I gotta get there, but I know where it's gonna end up because I believe I have heard from God. That's what inspires me during my difficult times and it lets me know and reaffirms for me that I am called to preach.